hi all today i am going to take class on detritus tank so detritus tank is a grit removal unit which removes not only silt but it removes some organic matter along with it compared to the grit chamber here we can remove the particles less than 0.15 mm size so once when you are removing silt particles we are also removing very fine particles less than the size of silt particle silt particle is having size of 0.15 mm to 0.2 mm size so detritus tank we can uh, remove the particles less than that size of 0.15 mm in addition we can remove the organic matter also along with the fine particles so this is because the flow velocity in the detritus tank is less and detention time in the detritus tank is more so flow velocity here in detritus tank we are providing 0.09 meters per second we can give up to 0.1 meter per second maximum 0.2 meter per second should not exceed that so we are providing the flow velocity very less and the detention time in detritus tank is more that is 3 to 4 minutes we are providing the detention time detention time we are providing is 3 to 4 minutes so what happens is that we are providing a longer detention period compared to grid chamber in grid chamber we are providing 60 seconds maximum that is one minute here we are providing more detention time so the particles finer particles will settle at the bottom of the detritus tank here and here in the bottom of the tank we are providing a hopper shaped bottom it's a trough so that the particles will settle at the bottom of the tank and this detritus tank the main aim is to remove the finer particles as I have already told than those moved by the grid chamber. So detritus tank is a continuous flow settling tank. It can be rectangular tank or it can be square shaped tank. And the sides of the tanks are vertical and the bottom it is like a trough. So a slight inclination is providing at the bottom just like an hopper bottom so that the particles will settle at the bottom of the detritus tank. So the light organic matter can be washed out of the detritus tank by the following methods. First one either by passing compressed air through the deposited detritus or you can wash it with water. Another method is to place the detritus on a conveyor and you can pass this conveyor through the water such that what happens is that the finer organic matter in that on that conveyor also which is and present in this detritus will be washed flushed back into the sewage so this grit particles can also be removed either by passing the compressed air air bubbles when you are passing what happens is that the rising air bubbles will then separate the lighter organic matter from the descending grit so the grit is removed continuously by means of some scraper mechanisms so it can be easily removed also so the main i am repeating once more the detritus tank it is provided to remove the finer particles less than 0.15 mm size so along with that finer particles we can remove the organic matter also the two points you have to uh, remind when you design the tank is that detention time should be three to four minutes and the velocity of flow normally we are providing 0 0.09 meter per second or 1.1 meter per second maximum it can go up to 0.2 meter per second.